Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civy, and today I'm going to stick with the underfloor diffuser theme for one more week and discuss how you would use the TAF V, TAF D, and TAF HC that I talked about a couple weeks ago. So I mentioned that you could use them to bring extra air into areas with varying loads. So I want to go into a little bit more detail on that. So let's start with the TAF D. If you recall, the TAF D has a CT bar grill on top and then a plenum underneath that can be ducted to a fan box in the underfloor system. So let's say that you have a conference room that has some round taffer diffusers in it that handle the minimum load. Maybe you have a couple people in there. It provides the comfort and ventilation air for them. But if a bunch of people come in, you're going to need to have more cooling in that space. So this is how that would look. You would have an underfloor fan box that sits under the floor and pulls in supply air to an inlet. And this would, inlet would actually have a damper in it and then your fan. And then you would duct those to the TAF D. So let's draw those in. Okay, so this fan box is going to be ducted to these four TAF D diffusers. So the fan box would be off until it's actually needed to provide extra air in the space. So normally you would just be getting air out of these round swirl diffusers in the space. But then when people come into the room, the load in the room will go up, the thermostat will respond and turn on this fan box, which will now pull more air from the underfloor plenum and supply the area with more air through these TAF D diffusers. So you could also duct round TAF or swirl diffusers to a fan box like this, but the TAF D provide more air per diffuser, so that's what we're showing here. So let's move this out of the way and let's look at the TAF V. So if you remember, the TAF V was also a CT grill on top of a plenum, but in this case the plenum box has a damper that opens and closes to allow supply air into the TAF V unit. So let's look at our conference room again. Put our diffusers, our swirl diffusers in. Now in this case, instead of having a fan box in the space, you would put some extra TAF V units into the space. So when there's no one in the space, these TAF Vs could be closed all the way and the supply air would all be coming from the round swirl diffusers. But then the TAF Vs would be connected to a thermostat, and when the load goes up in the space, the thermostat would tell them to start opening to provide more cooling into the space. So we get an open signal, and now you're going to get cooling out of this to supplement the cooling from the swirl diffusers. And these TAF-V units would modulate until the load went down and they would close all the way until the next group of people came in. Now let's move this out of the way and talk about the TAF-HC. So the TAF-HC, if you remember, again had the CT plenum on top, but it was kind of a combination of the TAF-V and the TAF-D in that one side is ducted, drop it in, and then the other side is open to the plenum and there's a damper in the middle that goes between the two that would, mod that would switch back and forth between heating and cooling on the unit. So let's draw our conference room and let's say this conference room needs heat now, so maybe it's on the perimeter. So let's say instead of swirl diffusers we're just going to put all TAF HCs in this space. In this case, it wants cooling, so the damper is in this position and allows cool plenum supply air to come up into the space to handle the load of the space. But for heating, you're going to heat off of a fan box. So let's draw a fan box over here. I'm going to draw, draw it slightly outside of the conference room. It's under the subfloor, so you wouldn't be able to tell where it was anyway. And let's draw in a reheat coil. So now this would be ducted to the, op the ducted side of the TAF HC. So something like that. 
and connect, it's connected to a thermostat, so when it sees that there's a need for heat, it'll turn on the fan, and now it's going to pull from the underfloor air, or you could duct it to return diffusers in the space, but the air will go through the fan, the heating coil, and supply heat into the space. So what would happen in the TAF HC is the actuator would also be controlled by the thermostat to switch positions like this, and now the air would come from the heating side that is ducted to the fan boxes, and this would supply heat into the space. So let's bring everything else back on screen so you can look at them. This is how you would apply the TAF-D, TAF-V, and TAF-HC into your underfloor air distribution projects. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.